in the world today. 168 out of 193 countries recognize the existence of Israel. Those countries which do not accept the existence of Israel are mostly Muslim majority nations. But there are 16 Muslim majority nations that accept the existence of Israel. In this video, you will know why these Muslim majority countries accept the existence of Israel and why they chose to do it. Coming at number one is Turkey. Turkey at first proposed a UN partition plan for Palestine in 1947. But in 1949, Turkey, which was under the influence of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk philosophy of secularism and liberalism, decided to accept the existence of Israel. Unlike other Muslim majority nations, which considered the existence of Israel as threat against Islam and the whole Muslim world, Turkey chose to accept Israel because Turkey was on view that uh, accepting Israel will help Turkey to get into Western Bloc and ultimately ensure its inclusion into NATO. Because at that time, Turkey was facing threat from Soviet Union. In 1958, Turkey and Israel signed the Fent of Act, which were mutual defense agreement to counter threats from the United Arab Republic of Command al Nasir and Soviet Union. Afterwards, in 1996, Turkey and Israel were cooperating with each other on defense capabilities, research and development, and technology transfer. Both nations were interested in to counter Syria and Iran because Turkey was facing threats from Kurdistan Workers' Party and Israel was facing threats from Hamas and Hezbollah, which were supported and sponsored by Iran and Syria. The cooperation between Israel and Turkey was so much that when Turkish Prime Minister Nekmetin Erbakal, if I am pronouncing it correctly, decided to establish friendly relations with Iraq, Turkish establishment forced him to resign. But afterwards, when Recep Tayyip Erdogan came to power in Turkey in 2002, the relation be between Israel and uh, Turkey started to plunge to lower levels. As Recep Tayyip Erdogan has made a career by giving out anti-Israel and anti-Zionist statements to its voters, and uh, that influences his political base in Turkey as uh, the conservative Muslims of Turkey have a negative opinion about Israel. So this anti-Israel rhetoric keeps him in power, despite the fact that the Turkish economy at this moment is facing serious crisis. So Erdogan cannot cross red lines in order to counter Israel, because Turkey needs America to help stabilize the Turkish economy and strengthen the Turkish era. And if Turkey decides to upset Israel, it will ultimately upset America, which Turkey cannot handle. Coming at number two is Iran. Now you might be surprised that how can I say Iran, but before the 1979 revolution in Iran, the relationship between Israel and Iran were like a relation between Israel and America. Uh, at first, Iran opposed the UN partition plan for Palestine in 1947. After the establishment of Israel and the Iranian coup d'etat, which uh, overthrew the government of Mohammad Mustadik in 1953 and established the regime of Mohammad Reza Shah, who was secular leader of Iran, decided to pursue good relations with Israel. Israel also chose to pursue strong relations with Iran because Israel was following the philosophy of peripheral alliance. That is. Israel wanted to establish good relations with non-Arab nations in the Middle East. That is why Iran and Turkey were chosen by Israel to be allies in the region. At first, when Israel was facing security challenges and also energy crisis due to diplomatic isolation and bad relations with oil-rich Arab neighbors, Iran was the only country that was openly supplying oil to Israel. After the Six-Day War, when Arab nations decided to cut off the flow of oil to Israel. Iran was the only Muslim majority nation that was supplying oil to Israel. There used to be a time when there were direct flights between Tel Aviv and Tehran, and Israeli companies, more than 500, were operating in Iran and were training Iranian military, Iranian intelligence, the Sawak, was also trained by Mossad and Israel were also investing in developing agricultural sector and in return Iran was the main supplier of natural gas and oil to Israel. And both countries were also developing defense related capabilities. Project known as Project Flower was aimed at uh, developing design technology while Iran decided to pursue good relations with uh, Israel at the expense of uh, Iranian people who had started to have negative opinion about the Shah because of his good relations with Israel. Because the Shah wanted to improve his relations with America and at that time, on the shortest way to improve your relations with America was to Israel. If you keep Israel happy, Ultimately, America will also be happy. However, after the 1970 revolution in Iran, the relations between Israel and Iran took a turn of 180 degrees. The Israeli embassy in Tehran was converted to Palestinian embassy in 1979, and uh, Iran and Israel 
till 1979 head to day now are actively engaged in proxy war with one another israel considers today iran as the number one external enemy and uh, iran says that israel is the little satan and must be eradicated at the cost so that Palestinian Muslims can live in a free homeland. Coming at number 3 is Nigeria. More than 50% of the population of Nigeria is Muslims, which amount to almost 80 to 85 million people. Nigeria accepted Israel in 1960, and since then Nigeria and Israel have good relations with one another. As Israel helps to develop technology, education, infrastructure, agriculture, and uh, and innovation in Nigeria. But, but after the Yom Kippur War of 1973, Nigeria decided to cut off diplomatic relations with Israel. But in 1992, both countries decided to re-establish their relations. So today, more than 50 Israeli companies operate in Nigeria, which employ 5,000 Nigerians. But at the same time, Nigeria is also the founding member of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, which was established in 1969 to counter Israeli domination and help in the Palestinian cause. So Nigeria at the moment is walking a tightrope in its relation with Israel. Worth mentioning countries at number four is Egypt. Egypt has fought four wars with Israel, but uh, in 1979, during the Camp David Accords, Egyptian President Anwar Sadat, along with the guidance of American President Jimmy Carter, decided to accept the existence of Israel. And in 1980, formal diplomatic ties were established between Egypt and uh, Israel. Because of this agreement, Anwar Sadat was assassinated in 1981 by extremists because he accepted the existence of Israel. Today, Egypt and Israel maintain a relation known as Cold Peace. Both countries uh, have a cooperation in the area for a joint cooperation against extremist elements and non-state actors. But at the same time, 85% of Egyptians hold that Egypt must not recognize Israel. Furthermore, the Egyptian media is also anti-Israel. and frequently propagates anti-israeli remarks in its news coverage egypt also supplies natural gas to israel and it has signed a 20 year agreement to supply gas to israel but only cooperation must not to show that egypt has emotionally accepted israel because egyptian president sisi has decided to pursue the policy of his predecessor that he will now to visit israel until and unless the Palestinian question is solved. Another Muslim Jordanian nation that accepted Israel was Oman. Oman had uh, secret ties with Israel that during the 1970s when Oman needed arms in order to counter the Marxist revolution that was happening in Oman. And Oman was the only Muslim majority nation that supported the Camp David Accords between Egypt and Israel. Oman formally established diplomatic ties with Israel after the 1993 Oslo Peace Accords. But after the onset of the Second and Intifada in 2000, Oman decided to cut off diplomatic relations with Israel. In 2018, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited Oman, and both countries decided to establish relations with one another. But you have to know that Oman officially does not recognize Israel because the Omani parliament has passed a resolution that, that criminalizes the recognition of Israel and calls for the resolution of Palestinian question before accepting the existence of Israel. And after the 2023 Israel and Hamas war, Oman has issued a declaration that it will only accept Israel after Israel accepts Palestinian statehood. Another important milestone that Israel achieved in its foreign policy was that when Jordan accepted to establish formal diplomatic ties with Israel in 1994. This treaty signed in 1994 known as Israel-Jordan Peace Treaty ended the state of war between Israel and Jordan that existed since 1948. Israel and Jordan has fought three wars, but Israeli support during the Black September event in 1970 changed the perception of Jordanian establishment. The uh, relations between Jordan and Israel are strained due to the operations that are carried out inside the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Israeli settlement in the West Bank and violation of international law. Another important country to mention is Azerbaijan, which is a Shia majority Muslim nation in the Caucasian region. Azerbaijan established relations with Israel in 1992 soon after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The common factor that brought both of these, these nations together was Iraq. As Azerbaijan was facing national security threats from Iraq because of the presence of Azeri population in Iraq which wanted to merge with Azerbaijan. 
and that is why Iran and Azerbaijan add strained relations with one another. Moreover, Iran also sponsors some groups that oppose the secular constitution of Azerbaijan and that is why Azerbaijan started to have good relations with Israel. Azerbaijan is the important source of oil and natural gas for Israel and uh, on the other hand, Israel supplies military goods to Azerbaijan. And it is also in the news that Israel has a base in Azerbaijan which which targets Iranian assets. Moreover, in Azerbaijan is also considered as a base of operation for Mossad agents against Iran. It, Azerbaijan provides 40% of uh, Israeli energy needs. In return, Azerbaijan has signed a $1.2 billion deal with Israel in order to supply drones and arms equipment to support Azerbaijani defense. Overall, the relation between Azerbaijan and Israel are friendly and it has not uh, been strained because of the recent Israel Hamas war. Uh, Israel also has gained recognition from the Central Asian Muslim Dark states, which are Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan. Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan. They accepted to have diplomatic ties with Israel soon after their independence from the Soviet Union. Central Asia is an important source for natural raw materials and oil and natural gas supplies for Israel. In return, Israel is an important source of supplying defense intelligence sharing to these states. Coming at the next country is Sudan was a place where in 1967 Arab League passed a resolution known as Three no's. These no's were no recognition, no peace, and no negotiations. But in 2020, Sudan decided to accept Israel under the auspices of Abraham Accords in 2020. Sudan accepted to accept Israel so that US can remove Sudan from the list of state sponsored terrorists. And US also provided $1.2 billion of loan to Sudan, which Sudan will use to clear its debts to the World Bank. But this team has not been finalized and ratified by Sudan because of the ongoing civil war in Sudan. Additionally, Bahrain also recognized the existence of Israel. But first, we have to know the context of relations between Bahrain and Iran. Bahrain is a Shia majority small state in the Arabian Gulf region, and Iran has tried multiple times to engineer a 1979-style Iranian revolution in Bahrain. That is why Bahrain considers Iran as the number one enemy. So in 2005, Bahrain decided to have secret relations with Israel in order to get free trade agreement with America. Moreover, Bahrain also hosts the US Fifth Fleet, which is there to counter the expansionist designs of Iran and ensure the flow of oil from the Persian Gulf. Bahrain officially accepted to have relations with Israel in the Abraham Accords of 2020, and both countries and good relations with each other. Second last Muslim majority nation in the list is Morocco. After the establishment of Israel in 1948, the king of Morocco, Hassan II, did not consider Israel as an enemy state. He had progressive policies. In a controversial act in 1965, the king of Morocco also allowed the Israeli intelligence in the summit of Arab League held in Casablanca, which affected the outcomes of 1967 East War. But at the same time, after the 1973 Yom Kippur War, Morocco also supported the Arab League in its war against Israel. But in 2020, Morocco agreed to establish diplomatic ties with Israel, and in return, Israel and America accepted the sovereignty of Morocco in the Western Sahara region, which is considered as a secret political entity by the people of Morocco. The relation was also strengthened by the purchase of Israeli defense equipment by Morocco. But there is a significant challenge for Morocco as the citizens of Morocco have a negative public opinion for Israel. The last country worth mentioning in the list is UAE, United Arab Emirates. At first, United Arab Emirates had a negative opinion for Israel because Israel used to frequently interfere in the UAE soil. But in 2010, the relations between Israel and UAE started to improve because of Iran, as UAE also wanted to oppose Iranian hegemony in the Persian Gulf, and Israel was the number one choice as an ally against Iran. When UAE accepted Israel in 2020 Abraham Accords, Israel also agreed to halt its plan to annex West Bank. But after the war, UAE decided to cut off diplomatic ties with Israel as Israel killed seven aid workers of World Central Kitchen in Gaza. To most of these countries have accepted the existence of Israel because of their national interest. But these relations are fragile because of frequent Israeli-Palestinian tensions. So all these nations have to walk a tight rope in order to have relations with Israel as they cannot afford their, their own public turn against their own self.